A new push is underway to tackle one of the planet's biggest drivers of climate change. Methane is a gas passed, or they say belched, by the world's 1.4 billion cattle. Cows are responsible for about 40 percent of global methane emissions. As part of our Eye on Earth series, Mark Phillips traveled to Scotland and met with the scientists hoping to cut the cattle methane in half. Depending on how you feel about meat, this is either a scene from carnivore heaven or it's a vision of the road to hell. Cattle graze on the lush green pastures of Scotland. The environmentalists will tell you that when it comes to global warming, meat, and especially beef, is among the worst foods we can eat. That the methane cows belch out while turning feed into food is a far more powerful greenhouse gas than even the carbon dioxide produced by burning fossil fuels. So the challenge is to satisfy the world's ever-growing appetite for beef while also producing less methane. And here at this experimental farm run by Scotland's rural college, they think they found a way. Because it turns out, one cow is not like another. Did it surprise you? You looked at one cow and you thought, holy, holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> this cow, this stomach content is a lot different than yeah. in this cow than yeah. it is in that cow. There's a huge variation in the stomach. It's all about the stomach. Well, stomachs. Cows have four of them. We are putting him. Reiner Roa is a researcher at the college and has been studying the digestive process in cows. And he's found that the microbes in their stomach not only vary from cow to cow, they determine how much methane the cow produces. A brief lesson on bovine biology is useful here. Cows don't actually digest what they eat, the bugs in their gut do. Their food mixes with a kind of microbe soup in the rumen or first stomach, and is then rechewed before passing through the rest of the system. And Reiner Roy's work shows that genetics can predict which animals will have the right microbe cocktail to produce the least methane. In other words, you can breed low methane producing cattle. So you can select, you can say, you know, that cow, that bull, yeah. They've got good stomach stuff. Yes. You can put them together and make, an, make another cow with the same stomach stuff. Yes. How much less? We are predicting that we are uh, reducing methane by 50%. 50 percent. 50 percent? Yes. So these cows will put out 50 percent yeah. of the amount of methane that they would have, that a normal group of cows yes. would, would do it. Yes. How do they know? They measure it. They put cows in hermetically sealed chambers for three days and analyze the gases they belch out. And there's another benefit. Producing methane is actually a waste of energy for a cow. The less they produce, the more efficient they are at turning cattle feed into human food. Win-win. Still, a 50% reduction in greenhouse gas production is not the same as a 100% reduction which is what we would get if we just stopped eating the stuff. Beef provides about 6% of our protein, 2% of the global calories. Of people everywhere? Worldwide. Um, if you look at the environmental impacts, beef's about 30% of our greenhouse foods, greenhouse gas emissions. So you've got this massive imbalance between the kind of environmental impacts of this product and the nutrition it provides. A recent study at Oxford University has shown that judged against the nutrition it provides, beef is simply too environmentally expensive. But let's go back to that bucolic scene of those cows grazing on those highland pastures. Cattle grazing is arguably the most efficient food producing use to which these fields can be put because nothing much will grow here other than grass. And there are lots of other areas of the world like that. As with so much of the environmental argument, there's a lot to chew over. For CBS Mornings, Mark Phillips, Scotland. I appreciate the bovine biology lesson, Mark Phillips, but it is, a lot, it is something to think about. I'm a big, listen, I love a good burger, I love a great steak, <laughs> and I have cut back because of stories like that. Okay. I'm not ready to end it completely, but I Not going I am, vegan anytime soon. No, no time soon. But cutting back in my on lifetime. <laughs> but I do think this is, it is something to think about. By 50% yeah. is a big deal, Tony. It's a big deal. It is. I love a Mark Phillips piece. I, I also do love too. a burger. Uh, we, we found out Teddy has a little bit of low iron content, so the doctor was like, make him a burger. We went home, we made a burger. It was delicious. So <laughs> I hope they solve it all and we can keep eating yes. them without guilt.
Well, as we do know, climate change is real, and we need to move oh, to a better. Oh, Vlad! I didn't know Vlad was making. Okay, the all right, that was corny. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> that was bad. I know that. Was bad. <laughs>